Hi everybody! Today I will show you how to use this wired remote for your camera. Let's start! Hi, my name is Esperto and today we are talking about this Fotix TR19 TR90 wired remote. Some of you may ask, a wired remote that's old school. Of course, but not everybody of you have a modern camera with integrated Bluetooth and wireless LAN. So you can connect this for example to your smartphone and press the tr trigger via smartphone. So I will show you, show you the functionality on overhead. So I switch the view. I hope you can see this one too. We have here the function for light. That means uh, the display will, I, I'm not sure if you can see it, will switch. I think it's too bright now, but this activates a, a small background light on the display. And if you press more than three seconds, you lock the button. So it's like to secure it for any accidental usage. Press three seconds again and it's gone. Now we have to clarify one thing. For example, if you want to make a long exposure, you have to set your camera on bulb mode or long exposure. It depends on your camera brand. And now with the set button, you can set now, for example, three minutes, press set. And with this timer start stop button you can start your long exposure so now I will stop that here with set we can remove the three minutes and yes the delay function is quite the, the same as every countdown function on a smartphone or any other camera. So for example also you can use a, for here a one minute delay. So have enough time for example to arrange a group of people or something like that. I also will stop that here. And one thing I forgot to tell you is if you make a normal photo, not a long exposure, um, you have to switch the mode on your camera, for example, to uh, shutter priority or aperture priority. So this is elementary so that your pictures will work. So now we have delay, which is the same as countdown. We have long exposure. And here we have interval. That means, for example, if you want to make 10 pictures with an interval of five seconds, we have to go to also set to 10 pictures. Now we have five seconds interval. We have no long exposure, that's okay. One minute delay, that is now a little bit too long for the showcase. I set that to four seconds. And now press start, four seconds countdown. And it will make 10 pictures and wait five seconds in between. So it's like if you want to make um, a hyperlapse or time-lapse. So now what can I tell you about this remote too is 
In the last function, you can set the sound notification on or off. I prefer off, it's an annoying beep sound. But I can activate for your... I hope you heard that, i make it again. So it's not so... It's a little bit annoying. So, what we also have is a menu, menu release button. If I press once, I make a photo. It's like the same as the release button on your camera. But also I can lock it on that function. For example, if you want to make a long exposure on your own. Not a predefined long exposure. Yes, that was everything about that remote. I hope you find this video entertaining or at least helpful, so please hit the like button and consider to subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned, I'm still on my video for the comparison between the Canon R mount adapter and the Comlight R mount adapter. So stay tuned, bye!